Hi, welcome to week three of the Base Movement School video series. My name is John. And I'm Jazz. Today we're going to be going through an intermediate strength program. I'm going to be taking Jazz through the program today. What you need to do first up, grab a drink bottle, find a bit of space that you can do the exercises uh, wherever you are, whether it's on your balcony, in your bedroom, the family room. Just need a little bit of space. We are going to be using a step, so if you've got like a chair that you could use, a coffee table, something solid like a step, that would be great to use. If not, there's other options available for you. So if you're ready, we're ready, let's get started. In the warm up, first one we're going to be doing is a half kneeling hip flexor stretch. So you can see here, Jazz has got one knee up in the air, the other knee is on the floor. We've got a nice box square shape. We're going to be rocking back and forth for 25 seconds on each side. So you're going to feel a stretch down the front of your hip flexor here. You want to push a little bit further each rep. You're not going through really quickly. Just go a bit slower. Feel a bit of that stretch to mobilise your hips. You can also see we're not arching our back to get that movement. Our whole body is moving forwards. We're going to change which legs in front now. So again, set up in that nice <coughs> half kneeling shape. Pushing your hips and whole body forwards, getting a little bit more of a stretch each rep. A few more seconds here. Fantastic. We're going to get up on our feet now and we're going to do a single leg skipping movement. So if you don't have a skipping rope, we don't have one either, that's alright. Just imagine you have one. If you've got one, fantastic, go grab it. And you're just skipping for 10 seconds on each leg. Change sides. 10 seconds of the other. Try to be nice and quick, nice and poppy. We're going to do it twice on each leg. Three, two, one. Changing over. Nice and quick, nice and poppy. Three, two, one. And last change over. Nice and quick on the balls of your feet. Three, two, one. Next up, a bit of activation, we're going to be doing a toe tap plank. And this is going to be paired with a counter movement jump next. So we're doing five movements on each leg. So Jazz, you can see you've got a nice straight line through her whole body. She's reaching with her toe, reaching with the opposite arm, giving it a bit of a tap. And we're not rocking our hips from side to side. We want to imagine that we've got a bowl of water on our back. It's not sloshing from side to side. Now we're going to pair that with four counter movement jumps. So we're going to start with our arms up nice and high. Big arm swing, jumping up as high as you can. So imagine you're throwing something behind you into the wall, then you're going to quickly reverse that movement and swing your arms straight up into the sky, big jump up. Once you're done in four, take a quick breath, we're going to pop down, we're going to do another go at the toe tapping planks. So set up your hands, nice and solid, bracing through your core. Slow moves, not racing through, slapping your foot, gentle taps. I see now five on each side, we're going to come up and do our last four counter movement jumps. Again, start off tall, swing your arms back, swing your arms up, big jump. We're also not thumping down to the ground, we want to control that landing, we want to absorb it. Fantastic, that's our warm up complete. We're going to move into our first superset. So, the first superset we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a feet elevated glute bridge. So, this is where a chair, a step, uh, maybe a coffee table, or even the edge of a sofa will come in handy here. So, we're going to place our heels up on that surface, and then we're going to perform a bridge from there. 
This is going to be a slightly harder version than doing it straight off the floor. I'm going to push through our heels, raise our hips up, big squeezy glutes, and we're doing 10 of these. Get a big squeeze at the top. Once you've done your 10, we are pairing that with a forward lunge with a pause. So we're going to step forward to a lunge. Just a one to two second pause at the bottom. Push the floor away from yourself. Come back up into a tall posture. We're going to do 10 steps on one side. Then we're going to do 10 on the other. So what we're looking for here, we're doing a nice big step. So we've got an open square shape at our knee. We're not too cramped, we're not close. Then we're going to push through our whole foot to come back up tall. Once you've done 10, 10 on the other side. Keep your chest up high, we don't want to be rounding over. And making sure that we're getting that pause at that bottom position, hovering that knee above the floor. Step forwards, push the floor away. Fantastic. Once you've done 10 on both sides, we're back to the feet elevated bridging. If you need to take a rest break in between sets, perfectly fine. Pause the video, have a quick sip, and then get straight back into it. So make sure you set yourself up, heels up high. Big squeeze of glutes each rep. With the bridging there, if you've got a mini band, you can place that around your knees for a little bit of outer resistance as well. Now we're back to our forward lunges. Big step forwards. Pausing at the bottom, pushing away. So if you don't have any equipment, we can do a body weight like Jazz is doing here. If you've got a dumbbell, kettlebell, by all means, give that a hold. You can hold in the goal position. If you've got two dumbbells, maybe off to the side, just for some added resistance if you have it. Adding that pause at the bottom, that's going to add a lot of resistance on its own. Big push away. So we can see that Jazz has a nice straight shin bone. She's not lurching over and coming up onto her toes during this movement. And then we're in our last time round, our third set of these. So if you need to take a break, by all means. If not, give yourself a chance to get straight back into it. Squeeze to the top. Ten reps here. And then the last one is our forward lunges again. So if you feel that you can't hold for that one to two second pause at the bottom, Give yourself a little bit of a rest break, come back to it. Changing feet once you've done your 10. Big step forwards, 
pausing, pushing away. Just making sure now they're starting to get a bit fatigued, that front foot's doing all the work. Fantastic, so that is the first superset complete. Take a breather for a sec, have a sip of water, and we'll come back for superset number two. All right, for superset number two, we have a single leg RDL. First set, we're gonna show just body weight. So we're gonna choose a leg to stand on. From there, we're gonna have a soft knee bend. And we're gonna make a letter T with our body. So we're gonna push our hips back, come up tall, squeezing your glutes. We are doing 10 on each leg with this. So if you feel that your balance is a little bit shaky here, you can have your arms out to the side. Slow control is the way you want to do this movement. Once you've done your 10, changing over. And this one's really going to challenge your balance and coordination. That's why we want to go slowly with it. And you think about when you're running out on a sports field or the court, wherever it may be, you're going from your right foot to left foot, right foot to left foot. So you need a lot of balance control, you need a lot of hip stability. So that's why this one is such a key component for our program. Once you've done your 10 on each side, we're going to pop down on the floor for a close grip push up. So if you haven't done a close grip push up before, start off on your knees. Try getting through as many reps as you can, so then you can go for a wider grip once you start to fatigue. So with the close grip push up, it's going to challenge yourself a little bit more. It's going to make it a little bit harder. So it's a good progression for your push up. All right, for the second time around, we're going to show what you can do with a with a weight for your single leg RDL. So we're going to use a kettlebell. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold in the opposite hand to the leg you're standing on. So, Jazz is going to start off balancing on her left leg, she's going to hold it in her right hand. Again, we're going to do 10 reps. If you don't have anything to hold onto, body weight is fine. But by all means, give yourself that extra challenge. So again, going slow and controlled, making sure that we're getting that big squeeze of our glutes. When we're changing our leg after the 10, we want to change our hand as well. Chest up high, so we're not rounding over. Nice and smooth there. Now we're back to our 10 close grip push-ups. So again, start off close. As you start to get fatigued, go for that wider grip. So if you start feeling a bit tired, go a little bit wider. Take a pause at the top. And think about pushing the floor away from yourself. So slow on the way down and pushing away. Once you've done your 10, we're into our third and final set of our single leg RDLs. Keeping it nice and smooth. exercise, you're feeling really shaky with it, you can place your hand on a wall, just your fingertips as a little bit of balance. And then once you start getting comfortable with that, you can step away a little bit further, a little bit further, until you feel fine just doing it on your own.
And then the last time of our close grip push ups. So if you're really comfortable with these, you can go from your toes. If not, keep going from your knees, work your way up, trying to get one extra rep each time with a close grip, finishing off with a wider grip. Well done. Fantastic work at home. Superset number two is complete. We're going to finish off today's session with a bit of core work. We are going to start off with a dead bug and we're also going to pair that with a side plank with a leg lift. So we're going to start off with a dead bug. We're going to pop on our back here, reaching up nice flat shins. With this movement, we're going to go opposite arm to leg. So as our left leg moves out, our right arm is going to reach behind us. And throughout the whole movement, we're going to be pushing our lower back into the floor. Doing 10 on each side. So a total of 20 movements. So if you're finding it hard to keep your lower back pushed into the floor, with your arms moving, you can just keep both arms reaching up. Just focus on your legs. Work your way up, incorporating arms as you go. Now we've got up to our side plank. So we're going to start off in a regular side plank, pushing your elbow into the floor, feet on top of each other, and then we're also going to add in a leg lift. We're going to do 10 leg lifts on each side. So with this one, our hips always stay up. You might need to start off with a smaller leg lift first, then work your way up. Since we're doing a side plank, we've got to work both sides. So flip yourself over, 10 on the other side. So make sure we've got that solid side plank posture first, and then you're adding in that leg lift. Nicely done. Take a breather for a sec if you need. We're going to finish off our second and last core sets here. So starting for the dead bug again. 10 movements on each side. If you're also struggling reaching out really far, you start arching your back. Start with smaller movements, work your way up. Always keeping your core braced, lower back pushed down into the floor. Fantastic. And the last side planks with leg lifts. We also don't want to be kicking our leg up aggressively. We want to be in control of, over that movement. Ten on one side and flip over. Nearly done there at home. When you're doing core exercises, you want to make sure you're still breathing. Don't want to be holding up breath through all the reps. Great work everyone. That is your intermediate strength program complete for week three. Hope that you're able to follow along at home, challenge yourself, make the exercises as hard as you can make them. If you have any questions about the program, what you could be doing if you don't have any equipment, or anything at all that comes to your mind, leave them in the comments section below. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're keeping up to date with our latest programs. And also make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram because we're going to be posting when we drop new videos as well. We look forward to training with you.